Hi, in this video we are going to talk about real-time analytics. The purpose of the video is to give an overview of real-time analytics and also talk about some of the business use cases where real-time analytics is very prominent in the industry. Now, real-time analytics is not something new. It has been around for multiple decades. There have been real-time control system, even the real-time uh, guided missiles, where a missile is trying is, is, is sent against a moving target, and the missile uses on on-site radar and also a combination of heat map technology to track the moving target and hit the target. So, real-time has been real-time analytics has been there for quite some time. But the challenge with real-time analytics, the value of uh, data diminishes over time. So think the case of the guided missile. If the guided missile is not able to collect the data on time of the of the target it's going to hit, it can hit a wrong target as well, right? So there are a lot of use cases, there are a lot of business process where data has to be actioned immediately. The value of data is almost zero in some business process immediately. In some business process, it may take like few hours where the value of data becomes zero. And in some other business process, maybe the value of data is there for uh, a month or year, right? The, the data can still be used uh, in this case to do historical what if analysis. Uh, but, but in many cases, like uh, if you don't action on the data immediately, uh, basically it can cause severe, severe reputational damage to the organization. To give a typical example, cybersecurity. Uh, say intruder comes into an enterprise network and is able to successfully hack into the network and steal uh, customer PII information and he can go out and sell it in a gray market, uh, all the information, right? If, if we have systems that can detect an intruder coming into the network and stop as soon as possible, then you have saved, uh, saved the organization uh, plenty uh, with plenty of lawsuits and uh, litigation and even uh, fines. Right. So basically real-time analytics for some business process is pretty uh, critical to hack immediately. And we are going to talk about some of the industry scenario where you need real-time analytics. Let the, the first example that I'm going to talk about is uh, a banking example where we are dealing with a credit card fraud. If you see the graph on the right from the Nielsen report, uh, as of 2018, uh, the, the banks are taking around 27.5 billion losses uh, if this loss is every year to only in 2018 there was been a 27.5 billion loss uh, for banking industry due to credit card fraud and this is expected to go to 30 billion in 2019 and and if you really see the trend the trend is like completely rising over year right if, if you if you have seen a typical way a credit card industry work a customer comes and swipe the credit card and uh, the there is a decision engine sitting on the bank uh, what we call as issuer to uh, basically send back whether the transaction is approved or not now this transaction approved or not process if 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 it's an fraudulent transaction and the bank sends an approval then basically the loss is already written down in the book uh, there is no way to track who has swiped in many cases maybe the 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 the, the purchaser is completely online and sitting in a country where he is not where uh, he is not tra traceable or trackable right so basically the banks have already taken uh, the loss in many cases if the fraud is not detected uh, completely real time uh, within few milliseconds or microseconds. Uh, that, that's, that's one of the thing where uh, real time analytics is pretty important. The other one that we keep hearing these days is self-driving car. If you see a self-driving car, it has to know about its an entire environment, how many cars are there in the back, in the front, in the side, uh, the visibility in the front, or whether it's uh, driving in a completely uh, snowy, weathery, uh, kind of weather impacted area, so that it has to slow down the speed. There are multiple factors that come into play for a self-driving self car to take decision. And if it is not able to action in real time, then by all possibility, it can uh, cause uh, damage to the property or it can even cause damage to the other vehicle uh, that is going on an highway. Uh, two examples over here that I'm talking about is lane changing. So when, when a car changes the lane in an highway, it has to kind of uh, have a look at RAR on what are the other cars coming, what speed they are coming coming in from and what is the distance they are coming in and it has to accordingly take action when changing the lane. And similarly, when it's driving in a low visibility area, there may be a car that has done a sudden braking before and uh, the self-driving car has to see uh, based on the speed, based on the visibility condition and apply immediate brake over there. So. Uh, 
so real time action real time kind of analytics is uh, this one other use case where in self driving car you are too much of sensor attached to your car uh, body and every sensor has to work together the data has to be correlated and then uh, an action has to be taken in real time if if you don't do it in real time again there can be a severe damage as well the aircraft is another example today in aircraft there is not much of uh, ai ml uh, there is but there is not everything is ai ml but if you see an aircraft uh, it's not only about real time analytics it's about the data they generate a typical aircraft a single flight going from source a to destination b generates close to around 1 terabyte of data they have hundreds of sensors across the place it can be about engine crew activity fuel use it can be the weather condition that was encountered uh, during the travel and some of this data is transmitted back to uh, the command center but lot of data is kind of retained within the flight uh, think think about how this data can be used to kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, advise the pilot or um, maybe navigate the flight by itself in case of adverse condition or something like that so this is where the other case where uh, real time analytics is pretty prominent there are a lot of real industry use cases where real time analytics has been running for quite some time uh it if you take about uh, finance we are talking about algorithmic trading we don't need a physical trader to sit there and execute a trade sometimes the market condition or external factor may be favorable to do an automatic trade uh there may be some kind of uh, uh corporate actions that come in and the algorithmic trading is a kind of realizes that okay this is a good time to do an arbitrage trading and it kinds of it kind of like uh, uh put an uh, put an uh, order for a, a stock or something like that uh, smart trade surveillance uh, basically uh, the regulators have to monitor the entire trade activity in the stock exchange uh, to detect for any fraudulent um, uh, fraudulent purchase or even anti money laundering scenarios so that's the real time uh, analytics has been there over the place there is fraud which i spoke about in finance uh, telecom if you really see has been doing real time real time analytics for quite long they need to ensure that all the towers are up uh, the the service is up within a particular area so they have been tracking and collecting data from all the towers continuously uh, they are doing network assessment like what is the probability this network is going to fail the power the the power supply that is powering to the network is going to fail that's in telecom marketing uh, you you have a customer you have a prospect uh, that has come and visited your website you want to give him offers uh, to see like um, how we how the prospector can uh, make a purchase and convert into a customer so there are real time analytics in this case if you really see the customer has a short attention span he may come and then he may completely move to a different uh, website altogether but in the different website uh, if you want to place a ad you need to take a decision in absolutely real time over there there are other industry use cases smart meters where uh, the energy and utility companies uh, collect continuous data about the power consumption in household and they can use the excess power they can manage the excess power if the consumption is very low and sell it in the uh, sell it in an higher premium to industry that is one thing a uh, hurricane impact like when an hurricane is expected to hit a shore uh, basically real time analytics can tell help assess the damage that can be caused or what are the particular counties or cities that need to be vacated and moved into a different zone altogether uh, or or even if the hurricane has hit they can also assess like where do we where do they need to send immediate help over there uh, usage based insurance is another uh, case study uh pretty much prominent prominent in uh, insurance sector where they can detect they can determine the premium of uh, car insurance based on how they use the car or how they drive the car i have a detailed uh, detailed uh, case study illustration of usage based insurance if you are interested you can click on the link that pops up in the top and uh, see the usage based insurance case study but uh, the point is the real time analytics has been done around for quite some time uh, the purpose of this video is basically it is just, just a uh, kind of a pre setter for my next uh, video where i'm going to talk about real time model deployment there are a lot of challenges with real time uh, real time uh, standing up a real time architecture we are going to talk about that but this is just like wow the industry is using uh, real time analytics now the challenges with real time analytics is basically uh, the data comes in complicated relationship and event pattern what what do i mean by that if you take a fleet management uh, if i need to determine like how long will it take for the fleet uh, to reach a destination uh, b 
I need to correlate it with the traffic system. I need to correlate it with uh, the weather condition. There are a lot of factors that uh, comes into play. It's it's you know it's not only like the time to go from A to B, but it also depends on uh, the extreme if it's extreme weather condition or uh, the complete uh, lane is closed for some reason. Uh, then then basically they need to kind of uh, take that into consideration to determine when a fleet will reach B destination. There are a lot of scenarios where events are completely correlated, right? So that is one scenario. Uh, the second scenario is you need to think of an architecture when you are talking about real-time analytics ground up. It's not that one architecture pattern will fit for all. You need to design your architecture, design your infrastructure, design your application uh, to meet your specific need. Uh, so it can be it can be like uh, if you have a microsecond or millisecond you may need a more kind of uh, uh, more kind of like high performance infrastructure uh, rather if you don't have like so much real latency need you can just uh, deploy on a commodity hardware you may need to substitute it with a NoSQL platform or in memory system uh, there's a streaming platform like Kafka or MQ we'll talk about more of more about the tools and technology in the next video uh, but but the architecture is not straightforward to stand up and it all depends on the requirement you are trying to solve. There are uh, other aspects as well which I will be covering in detail. Uh, so that's it from real time analytics. In the next video we will be uh, talking about uh, we will talking about like a uh, simple architecture of real time streaming. Uh, how can a model be deployed in a real time streaming platform and what are the key components of uh, st a streaming platform. So we will be uh, covering that in the next video. Uh, thank you.